morning everyone this is Micah Murphy with Daily Coffee with Micah. Today I am drinking Jamaican Blue Mountain Coffee. I've been, I haven't been on this coffee for a while. It's so good. Uh, I have my new Starbucks mug. I've been drinking out of a French press which makes the coffee really really fresh. Gives it a nice uh, you know brown head on it and just you can make it as, as dark or as light as you like to. I really like the French press style. But um, Today's topic is going to be influence and uh it's so easy to influence people and to be influenced um some people depending on their um their just their main personality what they've been through in life and different things uh they have decided they're going to be an influencer and some people are continually being influenced some go back and forth. Uh, I don't like to put labels on people, you know, there's always exceptions to certain things, but um, it's really what you let yourself see and hear and be around a lot can influence you big time. And, um, you know, it's, it sounds so cliche, but it really is true. Like, if you look at successful people, they usually surround themselves with successful people. Like, it's not when you see somebody that's considered successful they they normally have people around them that are also successful and it's because um you just have the power to like you the, the people you let yourself be around is so important because even if you are an influencer the people you're being around can influence you at times but uh i, I just today i just want to talk about influence that so you got to realize that the people you're letting in your circle the people you're, or you're, the, 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 the knowledge that you're letting into your eyes, into your ears is, is influencing you in a certain way. And just, so be aware of that because, uh, you know, then it can get down if you're in your heart, if you let it en enough and it can literally change your beliefs and you can find yourself believing crazy stuff sometimes if you don't watch it, you know, and then you also have the power of influence to be an influencer to, to take a stand in your heart and, you know, after some, some people, you know, I love that old saying, know thyself, you know, and some people have just gone through so much stuff or they just, maybe they were born that way and they just, they know themselves and they're, they're not going to be influenced except by certain things that they trust and they become influencers. They become the people that are the creators in society. They become the people that other people end up being around that they're, they, they carry an air of confidence and, um, they don't doubt themselves, you know, and they see mistakes as uh, learning experiences. They, they see a mistake as an opportunity to learn and go further instead of sitting there and seeing it as a mistake and beating themselves up and shaming themselves and, and just blow, and telling the whole world about it. They see a mistake as a stepping stone to be smarter, to learn, and, and then even to help others, you know. And so you really have to, like, your thinking has to, to change, like, Pers perspective is so important like you got to see the things you're going through from the right perspective because uh everything you know if you if you if your heart is pure and you feel like you're on the right track in life and you're not out to do anyone wrong you know and you can be a confident influencer influence people for the better you know um and then watch out because if you want to be um influenced by the right things you really have to you have to make a conscious effort to actually uh, you have to make a conscious effort to set boundaries about who are you going to let close to you who are you going to let influence you with their words and with in, in all the stuff that you hear so it's really something you have to make an effort to do you know some people just let themselves hang out with, with anybody all the time or whatever and I'm exaggerating some but it, and it, 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 it become they find themselves believing things that are strange and there's so much stuff out there in the world right now, you know, and um, just watch what you let in. That's all. And then watch what you put out because you, you can also influence people. So, but um, I've got my barista champion ring on my, for my wealth of knowledge from 2003 when I won that. Um, Jamaican Blue Mountain. I've been using a French press. It's, um, I like a lot. I like it dark. So I'm making it darker than usual, but it's naturally like a medium. Um, roast it's about a medium acidity low to medium acidity it's grown only in a couple few places on top on you know jamaica on top of the, the actual blue mountains there 
but it's a good coffee. It's usually a little expensive than most other coffees, but it's good. And um, so I'm glad y'all could join me today. I hope everyone has a good day. Um, please hit like if you're enjoying these videos. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, also, if you subscribe, maybe share and uh, comment below. Tell me uh, that I have my promotion going all the time. If you want me to, to give you a shout out and um, I can ship you an autographed daily coffee with my on and I can drink the coffee on interview for you with my wealth of knowledge and um, and also talk about a topic maybe you want me to talk about. Uh, so just comment below if you're interested and um, tell me if there's um or anybody can comment below and tell me if there's a is there if there's a topic you'd like to know about or if you have a question about coffee, um, I'd be glad to answer it. So y'all have a good one and I will see you soon.